Hello and welcome to Camo FPV. Today I will be um, doing an, a range mod for a Yashin i6, so basically the Flysky i6. Um, basically, we're going to replace these connectors, drill some holes, mount them, put the antennas on, and um, yeah, so let's get started. So firstly, um, this is actually a, a battery mod that I put on here, it just uses a boost or a buck converter so I can run basically any lipo in here and um, I won't be going through that uh, the build on this video but I'll uh, we'll post something later so basically you need to take up these four screws in the back of your radio and it should just come out like that and here you got the two antenna connections right here and here so just pop them out Easier said than done. Pop them out. Pull your stock antennas out. Now the other one's hidden behind here. So you just pull that out and take this antenna out. Now these can be reused. Uh, they're just 2.4 um, gigahertz uh, antennas. And basically, I've decided to drill my holes here. You guys can put them wherever you want. I mean, you could go here, pull this thing off, and put them there. You know, a bunch of different things. But, um, so let's get started. Basically, you wanna just drill. And you got your two holes. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but basically, you take off the top screw or the nut on here. You gotta pull that out. You might have to, if you do it the same way I did it, you might have to remove this switch. Let's see what happens. You will have to remove that switch. I snug that down, but, I, but basically at this point you just run your antenna connector. Just run it down like this. Plug it into the UFL connector. Now these things can be kind of tricky as well. There you go. There's one installed. I pull out the other one. And take off your connector there. Now this is one that I've used before on my other range mod, but I didn't actually post a video of how I built it. So this one, just pop it back in there like the other one. Pop the bolt there, then put that back on there. Grab it tight. Again, tighten these up later. I'm not going to right now because Matter. Throw this up around and down to the other connector. So now, if you look at that, you got your two connectors here, they're both plugged in, they're mounted up here. So, all you need to do is add antennas. After you tighten it down. Now with this mod, you do not, if you turn it on without uh, antennas on it, you will blow up your radio. Uh, you, you basically you need to buy a new one because after that it's shot.
Now you do gotta tighten these down. I'm gonna tighten them down afterwards. And basically after that, that's what it looks like. You get your two connectors there, and the two antennas. And uh, you do want to put one horizontally like that, so then you get the polarization correct. Um, but that's pretty much the whole mod. You just put your back back on. So you just put these two wires back in here and it's done. And like I said, I'm going to go over this uh, LiPo battery mod for the Flysky i6 or whatever uh, radio you have. Uh, basically, you can run a LiPo and XD60 on there. So. I'll go after that or go on that on a different video. But yeah, so basically long story short, after you get your antennas or the connectors drilled, they're UFL connectors. And I got a couple, I think it's five decibels and this is seven decibels, so a little bit more range here. Uh, on top of that, you could put a booster on there to put like two watts into the antennas, but I'm not gonna do that just at this point because I have my light bulb hanging here. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and See you next time.